Welcome back to the channel everyone. This is part five on this door and what I'm going to do next is clean up some of the broken edges of the paint. Now there's a couple of chips down here and also the pick cracked some paint. So I kind of went around with one of these paint markers and just highlighted them and I don't want to spend a whole lot of time. I'm going to use a cleaning strip wheel just to get all these broken edges cleaned up so there's uh, you know, no chance of having cracked paint underneath the filler. And an area like this where it's really susceptible to stretching and uh, oil canning, I want to take it real easy, take it slow, just do minimal work that I have to in there because I actually I could put heat in there and it could either raise up or it could sink down. Even, you know, these wheels here generate some heat. So I want to take it real careful on there. When I got all the broken paint edges taken care of and all the little cracks then I'll take 80 grit on the DA and I'm just going to start floating it over here. I don't want to put any pressure, I don't want to try and sand any low spot out I just want to float it over and actually that's the, the factory finish is like using a guide coat. That's going to show me all the high and low areas and then from there we'll do our final hammering and dolling or picking whatever we have to do to get it tuned up and ready for our first coat of filler. So let's get started with this. Okay, not too terribly bad. This is that low spot I was talking about and it is still a little bit low here. It shows up now. The DA didn't touch that so I'll bring that up a little bit. You can see the eyebrow and you can see you can't feel it but I may probably just bump this up just a little bit. You can see a couple of where to pick brought it up couple spots but it was nice and even and actually I really don't feel anything in there so that's just going to take minimal filler on that a little bit low in here in these spots I'll bring those up a little bit more but same thing it's a it's a pretty small confined area it's really not much filler at all this is a little bit tough to get to and it may stretch so but I'm going to work this a little bit more bring this up some finish sanding it and then we're going to be ready for filler.
Now that's why I always say, leave the paint on here while you're doing your body work. You can see everything you're doing. Just with it being sanded, I'm having a hard time seeing where I'm at, so I have to go a little bit slower so I'm not in the wrong spot and bringing up a, you know, making a high spot where I don't want it. But uh, it's, it's so close, it's gonna take minimal work here. This I've already got up. And what I'll do, I'll take the DA and then sand all this stuff smooth, get all these ridges out of here. Same with probably down in here. But once you get to the paint, use that for a filler. It's like I said, it's like a guide coat. To be surprised, this E-coat on a lot of these cars are fairly thick. You got quite a few mills of build up there and you can use that to just keep sanding it down and that'll take care of a lot of your low spots. All right, I'm gonna take my body file over this very slightly, just float it over, see if there's anything here that's too high. And if there is any metal that's high, you'll hear it right away and you'll see it. And I don't see anything here that's up too high because what I'm trying to avoid is putting my filler on and then coming back and having a hammer on a high spot. Even on my body line, it runs through here. You can see it just contacts it in a few spots. I don't know if it's showing up, but it's nothing that I'm gonna have to concern myself with or hammer on it. And that's about all you wanna do with a file anymore. You don't try and take off metal. I just use it to highlight some high spots and I'm good here. Now this spot here, this wasn't a high spot. There were some gouges in the paint, so I wanted to make sure I feathered those out. But everything else is looking pretty good. Just that simple. I think probably total four to four and a half hours is all I've got in this. And we are ready for Bondo right now, so that'll be in the next video. So if you like this video, remember, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you want. And remember, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.